Well, hi folks. Uh, back to our wood stove today for our video. It's time to do a little maintenance on the wood stove. We've been burning now for a good three months. We're past the midpoint of January now, so the stove has been in operation quite a bit. So what I want to do is make sure that my uh, chimney is working properly. I'm heading into the coldest part of the winter now, so it's going to be burned maybe a little hotter uh, than I even have been. Uh, a lot more wood's going to go through it, so I don't want there to be any kind of problems with it. So one of the things I like to do, uh, usually about twice during the burning season, I'll do now and then towards the spring, kind of a final end of season uh, maintenance on it. And what I do is I get one of these things. The flu Renew, this is Duraflame, this one came from Tractor Supply. There are others that are out there. Basically what it is, is to um, deal with any kind of creosote buildup. This, re this burns in the stove and it releases chemicals as it does to help um, get rid of any kind of creosote buildup that might be in the stove um, pipe, in the pipe going up through, up through the chimney. So um, I'm going to put this in. Basically... What I've had to do is let the stove burn down a bit. You can see there's still hot coals in there, but there's no flame anymore. There's no, there are no chunks of wood in there, and that's what the instructions say. So what uh, they also suggest is that you take it, you turn it upside down, you pull the paper away from the, the log that's inside here. You don't take it out of the paper. You throw the whole thing in as is. And I put it in there, and it just burns then for the next, oh, probably hour, hour and a half as it burns down. And then when it's completely done, then you just refill your stove and keep burning it um, as normal. In fact, burning it hot after you use this is a good thing because that keeps the chemicals actively working to, to reduce the creosote, dissolve the creosote. So um, just a small thing that you can do to keep your stove and chimney in good shape during the winter time. This isn't all that expensive. I think it's eight, ten dollars. Um, and as I said, I usually do it once about halfway through the burning season, um, or maybe not quite, but close to half. And then I'll do it in the spring, say, oh, mid March or something like that, to um, touch it up again towards the end of the burning season. So. Sometimes in the past, if I worried, if I worried that there was more of a creosote buildup, I would have done it at the beginning of the season. But from cleaning the the stovepipe and the chimney this year, it didn't seem to be too bad. Again, all of all of this depends on what kind of wood you're putting in. If you have good, dry, well seasoned hardwoods, you get very little creosote and soot buildup. If you have stuff that is perhaps not quite as seasoned or is a bit wetter. Um, then of course you do have more of it and, uh, and as always you never want to throw softwoods, you never want to throw pine, spruce, hemlock, those kind of woods in because of the amount of sap and resin that's in there then you're guaranteed to have a creosote buildup. Plus the softwoods they just don't generate the kind of heat that a hardwood will so um, that's what we want to do now is to get this in here Let's see if I can do this one-handed without burning myself or shaking the camera all over the place. As you can see, the, the stove is glowing. And I'm just going to give it a toss right into here. Push it in a little bit more. And it's doing what it's supposed to do. You have to keep the door shut now. Keep the vent all the way open. Um, and as you can see it's burning well so this will just do its thing now for the next hour or so hour and a half perhaps and it'll release all those chemicals um, I'm not really worried about the fans blowing because neither of these fans um, come in contact with the um, exhaust coming out of the stove um, the, it's recirculating room air. It's the two separate systems, so I don't need to worry about any chemicals blowing into the house this way. It's all contained in the firebox, and then it's going right up the chimney. So the blower fans are just moving room air through the through the um, house here to help heat, to add um, 
convection heat as well as radiant heat to the efficiency of the stove. So, uh, but if you have an open fireplace, you have to be more careful with this. They say if you have an open fireplace, you should keep your glass doors shut, make sure there are no other fans. You want all these chemicals up up the chimney, not out into the room where anybody would breathe into and breathe them at all. So, um, that's what uh, is happening now, and hopefully this will help clean out any kind of buildup that's started, soften any kind of creosote, and then when I burn another fire, it'll just drop as some ash. So, um, just a little tip that I found that seems to help the the safety and the efficiency of the stove. It's not all that expensive, and um, if you do it a couple times a year, depend. And again, depends how much wood you burn, where you live, how big your stove is, how often you feel you need to do it. But for me, where I am, and this size stove, twice a year seems to work, and uh, that's what I'm doing today. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our channel.